you, sir. Good evening, Pastor. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. How's Thank your... you for inviting us. Oh, you're welcome. How, how's, your, how's your Friday? It's game five. <laughs> no? It's game five, Laker game. <laughs> NBA. Oh, Lakers? Yeah. That's what people listen to. Yeah, yeah, Lakers. Uh, yeah, well, we don't watch I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's just the two of us here, <laughs> the three of us. <laughs> yes, yes. That's okay. <laughs> we don't watch uh, basketball. <laughs> I know. What's <laughs> the topic natin tonight, Pastor? Uh, your big God can handle it. So whatever we are going through, your big God can handle it. So, yeah. Uh, can handle it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess uh, we need to be faithful to our time. Let's start. <laughs> Game na. <laughs> Let's just uh, wait for others to join in. They're coming slowly. Yeah. Some people they are working and they're on the way home, on yeah. their way home. Cause the traffic on Friday. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Pastor Jeff, I, yes. I like your explanation. All about Bible is so good. Uh, I really appreciate. Oh, thank Even, you. I'm not fluent in English, but the way you explain and open, explain it to the Bible, mm-hmm. I get a lot of uh, result and. Uh, Understanding, understanding. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, yes. you'll thank be. You to, thank you for your spirit. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you'll be surprised when we go to uh, uh, First Kings, Second Kings, Chronicles. There will be a lot of uh, uh, Persia and Iran mentioning. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah like, you, you, you'll be surprised. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, the Book of Kings. Yeah. We are so excited to hear that. Mm -hmm. So we have Besa and Marianne here. This is my wife. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Good evening. (laughs) Good evening. Let me finish. Hello. There you go. Let me change my chair. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start. Good evening, Po. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Dal. Good evening. Hi. Hi. So, How are you? That's Besa than Marianne. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm bata pa pala. <laughs> this <laughs> mini, my wife. <laughs> I'm 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. let's uh let's pray uh let's ask uh let's ask sister Marianne to open us in prayer dear heavenly father thank you lord for tonight thank you god for pastor jeff thank you for his wife and thank you for all the church members that they're, they're coming on their way. Oh, God, I leave up to you our Bible study tonight. Give us the wisdom and the knowledge so that we can uh, study more and we can elaborate and uh, give us understanding whatever we're going to discuss tonight and learn. We pray this in, in all Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's uh, share the screen. There you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so let's open our Bibles to Psalm 115, verse 3. Uh, Sister Mini, kindly read it. But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever He pleases. Mm-hmm. He's in the heavens and He does whatever He pleases. He is he's the creator. I have enough. Don't need daddy. Yeah, we, we all have our uh, our scriptures on the screen. We have a scripture on the screen. Yeah, our God is in the heavens. He does whatever He pleases. He's the creator. Let's, let's just uh, stand on that truth that 
He doesn't need to explain anything. <laughs> uh, he's the creator. Here's our sister Lenlen. Let's just admit her. There you go. Good evening, sister Lenlen. You're right. You're just right in time. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Hello. So for tonight, we'll be talking about how big is your God comparing to how big our problem is. So oh. it says here, don't tell, don't tell God you have a big problem. You need to tell your problem you have a big God. Do you agree with that? Amen. So our topic for tonight, big, your big God big can God. handle it. Amen. Big God can handle it. So we have four learnings for tonight. Uh, these are four life lessons for us to uh, ponder on. And uh, number one, he is sovereign. Number two, God bless you. Number two, God is in charge. Number three, God is seldom early but never late. And number four, your God is holy. Therefore, we must be holy. We must live a holy life. Oh my God. So, we all agree that God is bigger than our problem, right? So it says here, can you read it, Brother Besad? Yes. Uh -huh. Our faith will be tested and your response will depend on how well you know who God is. Amen. Amen. Every day, do you agree that our faith is being tested? But... Yes. What is important is not to uh, 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 to what is important is for us to uh, to show how we should supposed to react, and our reaction will be always depend on how big our God is, how 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 well we know our God is. That's why we're establishing in our first slides that. Our God is big. Our God is huge. He's the creator of heaven and earth. And he's the best there is. He's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. So again, let's look at Isaiah 45, 6 to 7. Let's read this. Uh, let's ask Sister Lenlen. Can you read the first uh, verse 6 and 7? That people may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Amen. So Brother Besad read a while ago that our faith will be tested and your response in everyday testing of your faith depends on how well you know who God is. And Isaiah is kind of... Uh, uh, establishing it that this is who your God, right? That uh, the people may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, and there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other, right? I form Amen. light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. So he's, he's the most powerful being in the whole universe so we just need to establish that right so what enable for us to to uh learn more about all these four life lessons that uh, we're talking about for tonight so number one he's sovereign he's lord of the universe in charge of all things so therefore we can trust him it is like your kid who is in grade school, probably high school, or even in college, uh, not earning, not capable of feeding herself or himself. But since you are the parent and you are capable of providing for her, for him, you're capable of uh, taking good care of them. They feel like they can trust us. Imagine we are wicked parents in this earth. We are not that good compared to God. But our children trust us. How much more our loving Father in heaven. It says here that we can trust Him because He is sovereign. 
we as parents, we are not sovereign. We can provide, yes, we can work and provide for our children, but we are not sovereign. When we say sovereign, it's, you know, it's something like you're on top of the situation, you're on top of everything. It says here, but Sister Mini can read. If you don't know your God, how can you trust him? That's the point. If you don't know your God, how can you trust him? That's why in this world, there's a lot of, uh, you know, feeling of desperation, anxiety, um, uh, feeling of, uh, you know, uh, uh, uncertainty because they don't know who God is. That's why they're not capable of trusting. They trust the, uh, the faith healers. They trust the uh, fortune tellers. They trust the, uh, you know, all other people except God. Uh, I, this is just a joke anyway. <laughs> okay, let's just define what is sovereignty. Okay. Uh, brother, brother Besad, can you, read, yes. can you read what is sovereignty? Because we, yes. says, we said that God is sovereign. Let's define sovereignty. What is sovereignty? Sovereignty means that all things are under God's rule and control. And nothing happens without his direction or permission. God works not just some things, but all things according to the counsel of his own will. Yes. Amen. So it's like a king. It's like a monarchy. Whatever, this, whatever the king says, it will be a rule. It will be a law. Uh, but that is just an earthly king. But what we mean by sovereignty in terms of in this whole wild world, we're talking about God's sovereignty. That everything is in his perfect control. You know? It says in Hebrews 10.23, He who promised is faithful the question is who oversees your life you or god who do you trust you or god this is the demarcation line eh, of why people are living a good life a prosperous life a blessed life a peaceful life because they put their trust into god's into god's hands there are people who are living a chaotic life, uh, you know, a life of uncertainty, a life of hopelessness, because they're putting their trust, everything, all their trust to themselves. So it's just a simple choice. You trust yourself or you trust God. It's like saying the creator of iPhone is Steve Jobs. Would you trust iPhone to fix himself or would you trust Steve Jobs to, to fix the iPhone? It's as simple as that. So the question in, in, the, in, this, in this certain life lesson, life lesson one, he is sovereign. We need to understand if he is sovereign, we must put our trust in our God. He knows the beginning and the end. Do you agree with that? The Bible says he's the Alpha and Omega, right? It says here he is in complete control so we can trust him remember that that the the story of david he was just a shepherd boy he's he, he is the least among the family members he's just a you know the 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 bunso in the brothers the youngest and uh, he's just trying to bring all the stuff all the food all the everything to his brothers who are at war with goliath he's just an armor bearer of uh, King Saul, he's just a uh, a music uh, a, a musician for for King Saul to soothe his uh, his uh, worriness and uh, anxiety. He's compared to he, he, he's just a simple guy who's shepherding the sheep of his father. He's just so small and not worthy of anything, but the Lord sees his heart and blessed him. No, one good thing about David is he's called the 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 man's after God's own heart. He he trusted God so much that he fought. Now, 
let's let's just say David is six feet tall. But he fought like something like 14 feet, 15 feet, 16 feet guy who's tall enough to be called a giant. And he just, he, he killed the guy in just one sling of a, <laughs> one sling shot. Imagine that. Can a simple person, if David will trust himself, it is impossible for him to kill a giant. But if you trust God, whatever gigantic your problem is, the giant slayer who is God that is in your heart will obviously slay those problems. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that? Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Sister Lenlen, kindly read Ephesians 1.11. In him we have obtained an inheritance, Mm -hmm. having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Yeah, I like the word predestined, according to the purpose of him. This is like something, uh, if, if this will be put into a contract, when you're buying something or when you are doing business with somebody, this is like a good contract or, you know, this is not a deal breaker. This is a good uh, clause in a contract, right? Here. So we, we established that our first life lesson is he's sovereign. We all agree with that. He was able to prove that in the, in, in, in the manner of how we are discussing it. Now let's talk about that he's not just sovereign, but he's also in charge. There is a saying that let go and let God. You, know, you put the letter D into go. You know, because he is in charge of your life. Uh, we, we can always think of a lot of ways to solve our problems. But we need to let go and allow God to step in. Amen. Because God, God is God, right? There is no one above him. He is in charge. He can do whatever he wants. And he's not accountable to us. He does not need to answer to us. But but he loves us so much that he's willing to do everything, even laying down his life for us. You know, just, just for us to realize you know, how much he loved us, what kind of love he's trying to offer us. Now, Sister Mini, kindly read this. Daniel 4.35. All the inhabitants of the earth are, count, are accounted as nothing. And he does according to his will uh, among the hosts of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can save his hand or say to him, what have you done? Mm-hmm. So this is just like Daniel establishing that God is not answerable to no one. But even though he's not like a kind of person or kind of being like a tyrant God or, you know, He's a just God. He, he's a loving God. We need, to, we need to perceive God as not how the world perceive him. The world perceive him is like he's a giant being who has like a long beard, old man who is in heaven, you know, sitting and trying to count what we've done wrong and what we've done right, you know, and uh, giving a score like, oh, for this day you made. 10 mistakes, and for this day, you made two goodness. So he's not that kind of being. He's a loving father. He, 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 he wants to establish a relationship with us. All of us go through suffering, right? Do you agree with this? Amen. Although we do not understand why, sometimes we must trust God because he is in perfect in control. control. So... Uh, Sister Marianne, kindly read the next slide. He uses these problems to teach us good and to accomplish his purpose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of our trials are due to our bad decisions. Mm -hmm. Although we have free will, we are accountable for our choices. Amen. Have you noticed that having problem is part of life? Right. Having problem is part of life. Every day we encounter problems from, from small to great problems. But he uses these problems to teach us good and to accomplish his purpose in our life. Remember what happened to Joseph. Remember what happened to, uh, to, to, to Moses, to Jonah, right? 
sometimes mm-hmm. some of our trials are due to our bad decisions. Do you agree with this? Yes. I, I think it's not sometimes. For myself, most of the times. <laughs> in my own experience, I didn't know with you guys. In my own experience, most of the times, uh, it's due to my bad decisions. No, I, I cannot. I cannot blame anybody. I, but a lot of people they tend to blame the devil, right? Oh, this devil been tempting me. This devil, this, this devil, that. But the truth is, most of the decisions. The, the devil just give, giving us a push, giving us a nudge. But most of the dish, decisions comes from us. So, Mr. Yes, yes, Sister Lenlen. Usually, uh, usually, we arrive to those kind of situations mm-hmm. because of bad decision, right? Mm-hmm. But God always, always turned that situation to um, opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, there's a lot of examples in the Bible that they made bad decisions, but still yeah. God created a beautiful uh, outcome. outcome from that bad decisions, right? Mm-hmm. Look at Jonah. What happened mm-hmm. to Jonah? Right? What, what, yeah. happened, what happened to Peter? Right? It's Those just like are... you have to go to a the the long antawag ito hard long way, mm-hmm. but you arrive at the same at the same outcome. But we learned some. It's parang wounded ka lang. Mm-hmm. A classic okay. example would be si Sir Lenlen are the Israelites. It's yes. supposed to be eleven days. <laughs> 11 to 20 day walk from Egypt to Israel. It took them 40 years. Why? Right? Because they made they made bad decisions every day. They complained to God, they disobeyed God, they disrespected God and Moses every day. Amen. It's been a circle. You know, you go ahead. Eh, para kasing ang nakakakita lang si Moses eh. Blindfolded sila eh. Mm-hmm. So, eh, yung, anak, although Moses keeps saying to them, this is, this is, is that. Mm-hmm. But they were never been, uh, they were never been, uh, since from the beginning of their life, hindi mm-hmm. sila, hindi sila lang aral ng ganon. Mm-hmm. They were exposed to slavery. Mm-hmm. So, ang mind nila, condition lang na comfort. Mm-hmm. So even though even though you keep on teaching them, telling mm-hmm. them this is this, this is that, this is the evidence, and so and so, mm-hmm. it's still ang mind nila nandun sa nak- nakakondition sa ganong mm-hmm. klase situation. So they will keep on complaining and complaining, which is if if only they knew that um that God that God is telling them that. Kasi yung faith nila hindi ganun ka ano eh. Mm. Kaya nagdidig ano sila, humahaba. Para bang tinuturuan mo yung isang, parang tinutuwid mo yung kahoy na nakabalok dito na for, the, mm-hmm. for so many years. Mm. I, I think, I think in general right now, it, mm-hmm. it's the same for us. Yes, 2020. We are, we are still experiencing Israelites, Israelites uh, uh, what they been experienced right now. Yeah. Even though we are a Christian, there's a lot. There's True. a lot, mm-hmm. include us, that's uh, been so tough and uh, stubborn. Mm-hmm. Come yeah. to think of it, these are choices they made, right? Yes. yes. Because, right. because yes. Uh, well, come, uh, come to think of it, God is telling them, obey me. Uh, love me because I love you. Uh, have a relationship with me, and I will, you know, I will show you great things. In fact, before I gave my promises, I already showed you great things. Isn't it a great thing showing, uh, experiencing all the 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 chariots of Pharaohs coming after you, and you are confronted on the beachfront? And you have nowhere to go to. 
mm-hmm. obviously they will just slay you they will just you know annihilate you so you're dead but the lord opened the red sea for them to go through and when the when the egyptians tried to go after them he closed the red sea after they uh after they uh, uh they they went at, they 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 arrived at the other end so isn't that a great um, reminder that the lord got me that I, the the lo- i i am in i'm in god's perfect control right isn't it That's a great right. experience that when the lord gave them bread from heaven manna every day they don't need to work they they just gather bread every day those are provisions go ahead sister amen i think um education plays the major role mm-hmm. in everything Because mm-hmm. if you knew, you will follow. Mm-hmm. But they, they were not oriented. Mm-hmm. They were not educated. That's why uh, they go with their feelings. But the, they go but, with their expectation. But the orientation, so-called, or education, is kumbaga, translated into a beautiful experience. Eh, na, They've yeah. seen the Red Sea parted. Yeah. They've seen the manna being uh, given to them uh, daily. They've seen yeah. the quails given to them. They've seen the Lord uh, protected them from the Mo- Moabites, the Ammonites, the, the, the Edomites. They've seen how the Lord gave them the wall of Jericho. They did nothing. In fact, He just told them, to 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 uh pray to, to have a praise and worship and go around the wall of Jericho and the wall of Jericho went tumbling down so those are you know those are too good to be true stories and, yeah it's uh, it's, it's the it, same as today mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we have a lot of miracles mm-hmm. happening every day mm-hmm. but we even us we don't see it. Mm-hmm. You take it for granted. You take for yes. granted. That's why it's the Bible says we need to give thanks in everything. Every yes. every day that I I, uh, I I I yeah. I wake up in the morning, I give thanks to God that I'm a God. I'm I, I'm a God. I'm 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 alive. I'm good. I'm healthy. I don't have COVID 19 That is something to yes. thank for, right? Because like It's how many thousands, how many hundreds of thousands died because of COVID-19 in the last six months and still Amen. we Amen. are being protected we are being we are being yeah. saved Th- those are miracles that sometimes we we don't see we, we sometimes we're not thankful for we are being Amen. provided food we are being provided uh, 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 shelter clothing and everything so yeah. sometimes it, it's how we look To, it is how we look into our God, how we look into uh, into His perspective. You know? uh, it says here, God is sovereign in the, in the exercise, exercise of His mercy. mercy. Amen. 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 All right. So we, we, we learned that He's sovereign, He is in charge. Number three, this is something uh, interesting. God is seldom early, but never, never late. late. <laughs> on time, on time. America on time. All the time. But during that waiting time, there will be always complaining, complaining on our part, right? <laughs> Have you experienced that? <laughs> but uh, he, he, the, the, the Bible assures us that he was never late, he is never late, and he will never be late. Okay, let's read this, uh, Sister Mini. In the story of Lazarus, when Jesus found out his friend was sick, he stayed longer where he was. Mary and Martha were very disappointed because by the time Jesus got there, Lazarus had been dead and buried for four days. Oh my goodness! If a person remember that in John 11, this is a story. This is the story of Lazarus, who is a close friend of mm-hmm. Jesus. Lazarus is the brother of Mary and Martha. I remember Martha. the story of Mary and Martha. The one is uh, busy yeah. and the other is like uh, serving, the, uh, uh, as having a great time with God. Anyway, yeah. these three uh, siblings are very close to Jesus. 
So when they asked Jesus to come because, you know, Lazarus is not doing well, Jesus decided not to go right away, but to stay wherever he is. So Mary and Martha were disappointed, very disappointed, because by the time Jesus got there, Lazarus had been dead and dead. buried for four days. And we all know when you're buried for four days, you're stinky. <laughs> you're already starting to decompose, right? It's mm-hmm. impossible for you to be alive again. You yeah, you will be okay. you will be wrapped with uh, you know a burial cloth and a stone will be rolled so that the smell will not go out from that uh, thumb. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Okay, let's uh, ask uh, Brother Besson to read what happened next. Jesus. But Jesus had bigger plan when he brought Lazarus back to life. Mm-hmm. He told witness and the power of uh, Jesus and the become believers. And mm. God was glorified. Amen. He has another plan. We said here that God is seldom early, but never late. We forgot, Martha and uh, Mary forgot that Jesus is the Alpha and Omega. Jesus is the creator of heaven and earth. Jesus is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Jesus mm. is the author of life and death amen he can he can always uh what they call this uh 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 what they call this? void or what do you call that when sa, sa, ano, sa, sa fast food pagkain na ano natin uh, he, in alter, he can always alter or he can always um i have this word that that will uh, change or something because he has a bigger plan. Yes. His plan is to be glorified and to show... His plan is not to brag, okay? Let's just be clear. His plan is not to brag. Because a person who's bragging is like... is trying to pretend someone that he isn't, right? For example, I'll brag that I have a bridge, I have a new car or this or that but I'm not really rich. I'm just bragging. But the Lord is trying to show. The Lord is trying to prove. The Lord is trying to inform everyone that He is a big God. And He has a say, even in terms of death, in terms of life. So that people witness the power of Jesus. And what is His, what is, what is his goal? And become that believers. They become believers. Right? And glorify God. And glorify God. Because if you get to know Jesus, you will turn to be a believer. That's the point. Eh? Uh, mm-hmm. We became believer because we witnessed a miracle from him. We became believer because we saw him, how much he loved us. We became believer because, uh, you know, there is something in this God that is the answer to all my problems. Now, I became a better person because of this God. Do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. But the question for tonight is, what stone do you need to remove from your life so that God's work may be accomplished? Okay, here's the scenario. Lazarus is inside the tomb. The stone is blocking the entrance way because you know it, there would be smell if you don't put like a covering mm-hmm. and the lord said remove the stone and he asked lazarus come out and to mm-hmm. all their surprise lazarus who has been dead for 4 days came out of that tomb you know healthy alive mm-hmm. the question is <clears throat> Uh, the problem is being dead in our sins. We are inside this tomb. We are covered by a slab of rock. What stone do you need to remove from your life so that God's work may be accomplished? Okay, I answered this like 20 plus years ago when I got born again. What stone, Lord, do I need to remove from my life? 
what is your weaknesses so that God can my weakness weaknesses. yeah the, the first thing I, I i i i try to remove are my vices i stop drinking i stop smoking i stop doing things that will not you know yeah, will not uh, please be pleasing to my god and uh, and all other things little by little you know with with the help of the holy spirit I was able to be triumphant. There are things that I wasn't triumphant. Mine is my temper. But it's a continuous process improvement. But how about you guys? No, what stone do you need to remove from your life so that God may work be accomplished or something? Yes, sir. yes go ahead, Besad. Uh, yes. My weakness is uh, hmm. uh, I just write it down a little bit and I don't want to forget. My 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 weakness is a uh, um, when I'm not uh, absolutely hundred percent and with God. Mm -hmm. It's my weakness. Once I recognize I because I always imagine I'm in the house of the God. I mean mm -hmm. uh, I'm in His house. I'm His uh, land. I'm mm -hmm. His in His. Uh, place mm -hmm. and i feel jesus is there holy spirit is there god is there mm -hmm. sometimes i open the door i run away from the house mm -hmm. not run away because i i just open the door i go out and then i uh, commit something mm, like a uh, out of rule of god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, i i just know um uh, um Yes, yeah. The, the Bible say uh, God is provide. God is uh, doing um, everything is for us. Everything good for us from mm -hmm. is from God. Mm -hmm. Everything bad from us is not from God. Mm -hmm. we, that that I love that uh, the, the one you posted mm -hmm. is our choice. Yes, yes. So anytime I have experienced in my life mm -hmm. that. Um, uh, Anytime I was in the house of the God inside the closest mm -hmm. door and I'm secure, mm -hmm. everything come like a puzzle to my life. Mm -hmm. Very like a always magic or miracle. Mm -hmm. And I uh, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up. But once I open the door and go out of the house of the God, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not secure at all and then i saw a lot of damage in myself mm, i agree mm. so um, um, in 2004 mm. years 2004 i met um, because at that time i was muslim mm -hmm. uh, i met the guy he's um, his name is gregory from lebanon mm -hmm. and he uh, he was a past he's pastor mm -hmm. and he i met him and then uh, he to, he explained to me something very very it, it clicked to my, he told me a lot of things but this mm -hmm. word this sentence it clicked to my mind forever mm -hmm. I still have it mm -hmm. he told me Bez, he told me Beza um, there is a line between between your legs mm -hmm. he said left line right line mm -hmm. he said left line is it going what you decide to by your own and then through the, your temptation through your physical body mm -hmm. but he said right line is that jesus is god and, and the way you want to uh, the way if you want to walk mm -hmm. and then he said we cannot watch uh, like a left right left right left right mm -hmm. he said we have to choose one place amen only. amen it's yeah he told me uh, if we want to be safe, we have to choose only uh, one side, mm -hmm. the, the, the Jesus uh, way, mm -hmm. not on, not our temptation to stop things. He, can, he cannot. He said he cannot cheat God. He cannot fool God. Mm -hmm. He told me. Amen. So, anytime uh, is God God's purpose for us all the good things. Uh, is absolutely right because God never wants to bat for us. Mm -hmm. and he has mm -hmm. his plan is for all of us, the people who are in his sight, who are mm -hmm. in uh, following his son. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, if we don't follow the son, 
is not God plan. I mean, mm -hmm. God plan in once once we are in the circle in the God rules, we are so safe. Mm -hmm. But once we decide, and it's our choice to be out of other circle to the left, we are not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I so, agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's our choice. It's our choice who, what we want. Mm -hmm. We cannot fool around everywhere, hurt people, cheat people, uh, harm people, and then we keep saying Jesus, Jesus, or Muhammad, Muhammad, or Moses, Moses. Yes. Mm -hmm. The thing is, uh, the the we have to. Jesus said, "Step on my feet. Mm. Follow, follow me. Follow me. What that mean? Follow me." To me, that means apply it what he did in his life. Mm -hmm. So, to me, I always try to. I know sometimes I fail, but I always my focus is a follow on Jesus' step because once I know I follow, uh, I step my feet in Jesus' feet step. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I'm safe. Amen. I know I'm safe and saved. And then mm -hmm. I know my soul, not not my physical, mm -hmm. he will save my soul also. Amen. 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 I, 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 I talk too much. My, what, what my, <laughs> it's okay. It, I, I, I enjoyed it. But the, the thing is, one good, um, we, we, we can identify when you said we are all wandering. We are all like sheep who runs away from the Lord. One good thing about the Bible is saying, that he is willing to leave the 99 and look for the one who is wandering around you know, and will try to pull him back to his flock and keep him safe there. It, what you're saying is that whenever we leave the presence of God, chaos starts, right? <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we make bad choices. But I agree yeah. with you. These are all our choices. We cannot... We cannot um, blame God. We cannot blame other people. These are yeah. all our, these are all our choice. Your your friend is right. We have this line between our legs that we have to go. We have this choice. We go to right or left, white or black, or even to yeah. our eternal destiny. We have a choice. We have a choice if it's if it is smoking or not smoking. Right? Yeah. You want to go to heaven or we're going to hell. This we cannot go left, right, left, right, left, right, right. Yes. 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 That's, not, that's making God like yeah, we are fooling God. I'm yes. Sorry. That's the thing. You, we, we, cannot, we cannot fool God. Now, often we, we question God's timing and his ways. But the thing is, his ways are not like our ways. Right? Yes. We, 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 the, the Martha and Mary were questioning Jesus, why you're late? Why you're late? Right? Mm. But we cannot question God. In the first life lesson, He's sovereign. Why, how can you question a sovereign being? Mm -hmm. Right? He Amen. has a plan, even though sometimes it's hard for us to understand. No? Yes. Here's the tip, here's the clue. If you want to understand, if we if we want to understand God more, let's be in a beautiful relationship with Him. Because when you are in a relationship with a person, you try you tend to understand that person more because you know you are in a relationship. But if you don't know that person, it's hard to communicate. For example, Amen. for for a neighbor, you don't know. You just say hi, hello, good morning every day. You don't even talk. You don't know that person. But you're you you have a good relationship. Hi, hello, good morning, bye. But comparing to a relationship with your husband or your wife, it's a different thing. Sometimes it's, it will just take a nod. Sometimes if it, you know, it will just take like, you know, a certain body language. You already know what he's trying to say, because you have a relationship. The same thing with God. If you have a deeper relationship with Him, you'll be. It, it will be easier for you. Oh. This thing doesn't go my way, but I trust God. I know yes. there's something Amen. better for me, right? Yes. Pastor Amen. Jeff. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yes, can I add? Can I say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, we um, we need to have relationship, yes, to mm -hmm. God, to Jesus, to Holy mm -hmm. Spirit all mm -hmm. the time. But what can, what can bring us relationship? What is relationship? How can we make a relationship? The relationship to me is always conversation. 
mm-hmm. once if I want to have a uh, have a good relationship with my wife Cultivate, or with, yeah. with my daughter, my child, spend time. Yeah, in, we need to. We, I need to spend time and have conversation all Perfect. the time. That all uh, spend my time, and then we become th- this conversation bring mm-hmm. relationship. Yes. Yes, yeah. I agree. Without conversation, we don't have relationship. Mm-hmm. So I most all the time um, put my time with my daughter mm-hmm. um, for the conversation. Mm-hmm. We have a very good relationship. Mm-hmm. I put my time with Marianne for conversation. Mm-hmm. We have a very good relationship and understanding. Mm-hmm. When I go to the shower, mm-hmm. I watch myself. I keep talking to the God conversation. I talk mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. I say, thank you for this. Thank you for that. And then, mm-hmm. sorry if I'm poor to understand you. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for everything, all the blessing. Thank mm-hmm. you for all my friends. Thank you for my um, um, uh, Bible study group. Mm-hmm. All the thing. I, This is the way I can conversate conversation with God. Mm-hmm. This conversation bring a relationship. Once we have a relationship, the mm-hmm. Holy Spirit uh, come to us and then leave us. Amen. Amen. These are this is a form of conversation. Being part yes. of a Bible study is a form of conversation. Being part of a su- Sunday service is a form of conversation. Your yes. personal prayer is a form of conversation. Even though you're just washing your car or taking a bath, you're conversing with God. That's conversation. Uh, you know, uh, reading the Bible is conversation. You know, listening exactly. to the podcast is conversation. Amen. You need you need to cultivate your relationship by yes. communicating, by having a good conversation always. A lot of people, they look at God, they think of God like a genie. Lord, I need this and I need that. That's it. You know, I have yes. nothing to do with you. I don't want to tell you about what happened to me. I don't want to tell you about anything, any secrets, any sins or whatever. I just look at you as when I need something, I need to pray and ask it from you. As but Jeff, that is not relationship, right? Go ahead, Besad. I'm sorry. Um, there is um, there is two kind of uh, conversation. Conversation is so important, very important. Mm-hmm. Who we conversation with? Who? Yes. yes. If, if we conversation with God or we conversation with the um, bad stuff, mm-hmm. there is a lot of uh, bad things with the bad friends or but the, they are. Um, in, um, they are telling us to do this, to do that, and mm-hmm. they are they are not in the God rule. Mm-hmm. And then that is conversation too. If mm-hmm. we have conversation with those people also, they will uh, this conversation uh, it mess up our spirit and grab us to the you know, other way to the left side and then destroy our soul. Yeah, the, the, the Bible says, bad characters uh, corrupt good. Good characters. So right? we need bad, to know bad how. Company. <laughs> bad company could have good characters. Right? Yeah. That's why you need to choose the 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 people you 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 communicate with, you spend time with, you 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 know you you need to choose people who are encouraging that yes. will that will uh, make you grow more in your spiritual life, not those people uh, who will discourage you and uh, you know be negative you be negative on on all the perspective that you're seeing amen thank you amen so That's we learned part. about uh, life lesson number one he is sovereign god is in charge and god is seldom early but never late okay last your god is holy therefore be holy so this is not a suggestion this is a command mandatory mm-hmm. no. mandatory Good thing we belong to Church of the Nazarene, the uh, denomination who gives emphasis on holiness. You know, holiness unto the Lord. I remember Amen. Stan Toller, he said uh, in his book, holiness is a belief that is experienced, researched, referenced, thought, implemented, sung, illustrated, posted, translated, and transferred through the countenance, conversations, and conduct of its believers. So, holiness, or in Tagalog, pagiging banal, is 
can be experienced, can be researched, referenced, blah, blah, blah. We can, we can pretend to be holy, but unless it is being transferred to the countenance no, on how we communicate, converse with other people, of how we conduct ourselves as believers, it is not really actually holiness, right? If you don't know your God, our question is, how can you trust Him? This is our question earlier. No? The thing is, we, we, we answered this that he, we must learn that He is sovereign, that He is in charge. But now, another thing that we must learn from who He is so that we can be able to trust Him is that He is a holy God. In Leviticus, no, it says here 11.45, Therefore, be holy because I am holy. No, he's like uh, uh, trying to tell us that I am your creator. I created you in my image and in my likeness, in accordance to my image and likeness. So therefore, if I am good, you must be good. If I am respectful, you must be respectful. If I am just, you must be just. If I am faithful, you must be faithful. So therefore, be holy because I am holy. I am holy. In, in 1 Peter 1.16, it says here, be holy because I am holy. It was uh, again from Leviticus in Old Testament and in 1 Peter in New Testament, same principle, same thing. The Lord is saying, you, my people, you, my children, must be holy because I am holy. Okay? So the question is, whatever your problem now, remember that your big God can handle it. Okay? The, the, the thing is, uh, enable for us to... Uh, to refrain from, to, uh, to, to be away from you know, whatever problems or chaos that are coming our way. You know, to solve this, you know, we need to live a holy life. If we understand living a holy life, if we understand holiness coming from God, there, you, you'll notice right away, there will be lesser problems. No, there will there will be problems, but you know it it will be easier for you because you'll tend to see it in God's perfect uh, perspective of holiness. Right? Hey, Pastor, go ahead. Yeah, can I say also? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, and this is what I learned in in my spirit because even I was like a very child in my mm -hmm. country Iran as a Muslim. Mm -hmm. I always go to the roof of our apartment mm -hmm. and then sometimes I cry mm -hmm. and shout sometimes to the sky mm -hmm. and I said, mm -hmm. who are you? Show me yourself. Who are mm -hmm. you? Show me yourself. Mm -hmm. I want to know who are you? Because always I, in my, in my imagine, imagination, he is like a, he is a guy with the sword. Mm -hmm. He's going to punish me. He's there. Mm -hmm. uh, those. So, and this is the thing then that I saw, I, I was reading, how can you trust your God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, nobody can trust God mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, except, uh, not except, uh, un unless, unless. Un unless you, you have relation, you have relationship with him. Yes. Once mm -hmm. we have relationship with God, mm -hmm. uh, we know who is our God. Mm -hmm. And then totally we trust him. Mm -hmm. absolutely there is no doubt because once we know once you know your wife once i know my wife mm -hmm. yeah when we trust when we know each other through the relationship we mm -hmm. trust each other mm -hmm. this trust bring love and everything mm -hmm. so this trust to because we want to, because i saw is written uh, how you can trust your god mm -hmm. so how we can trust through the relationship mm -hmm. relationship never ever come from any religion mm -hmm. cannot be through the uh, jewish uh, muslim mm -hmm. catholic uh, buddhist no. all the all the relationship mm -hmm. um, is come from to know the god 
How yes. we can know to God? The only key is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Once we know Jesus Christ, one believe in Jesus Christ, we know Jesus. Jesus is Father. Mm -hmm. The Father is God in heaven. So once we know Jesus, God is that. So mm -hmm. once we know who is Jesus, mm -hmm. we absolutely we know who is God. Mm -hmm. That's why God sent Jesus to to send His Son. That He said, "Hey, this is me." Mm -hmm. You don't have to follow all the rules. This is me. I'm like you. Look at my son mm -hmm. and then believe in my son and then you will see who I am. Mm -hmm. So to me, I believe in Jesus Christ. And then once I knew, knew him, who is he? I recognize who is God. Once mm -hmm. I recognize who is God, I deep in myself, in my heart, I said, oh my God, I know who is my Lord. Mm. He, Jesus is my Lord, is my Father, so I trust Him fully. Mm. So I I can trust God mm. very easily. There is no doubt. Amen. But once we have relationship, mm -hmm. he, 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 in in line in line with what Besad is saying, relationship with God. I'm sure you have beautiful relationship with your parents, no? Uh, for example, you are close to your mother or to your dad. Uh, if I will ask you a question, what yes. is one thing, one good characteristic of your father or your mother that you love the most and you always try to emulate it? Let's start with Mini. Mini, what okay. is one thing that is uh, you're trying to emulate from your parents? Uh, you Mama answer huh? Yeah, love and kindness. Um, how about how about you, Sister Marianne? Uh, Pastor Jeff, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Marianne can answer too. Mm -hmm. But truly, truly, I learn love from okay. Jesus Christ, not my father, Amen. not my mother. I Amen. swear to God. Amen. That Amen. the true love is from Jesus because human love is temporary, mm -hmm. but Jesus' love is forever. This Amen. is what it came to my heart, to my life, mm. and how I can love people yeah. without any expectation. Mm. I never ever say I learned love from my mother and father. Mm. They are so respectful to me, mm. but my father, my mother, my life is Jesus mm. Christ. Amen. Amen. I, Amen. Wish, I, I wish everyone will see that perspective. That's a beautiful perspective, <laughs> right? How about you, Sister yeah. Marianne? Uh, uh, yeah. I, 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 I saw I from your post that you are so 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 close to your mom. So what kind of characteristics oh. that you love <laughs> the most from her? Uh, um, because uh, she recently I, I was, passed away, I, right? I, I was laughing because uh, I, I can vouch for His mm -hmm. faith, his faith for God, his mm -hmm. love for God, and the way he is living his life. Mm -hmm. It's all about love and kindness. Mm -hmm. He can turn the evil. The devil mm -hmm. people into an angel because of his so humbleness and mm -hmm. i have a lot of testimony and we had this uh, testimony just just recently so mm -hmm. i really uh vouch for his faith he he is so um the the muslim people when they turn to christianity they mm -hmm. are really 200 percent genuine uh, to god Amen. yeah um for me um mm -hmm. for me uh I got the the kindness for my parents, my mother and my father. Mm -hmm. uh, since I was a kid, uh, even though we came from poverty, mm -hmm. we never failed people that come to our life and never mm -hmm. decline people that they needing help. Mm -hmm. Even though we are the one no food that we mm -hmm. going to eat, we are, we are we still sharing and giving to others, and that's I'm I'm living for that. And Amen. I I that is my strength. Mm -hmm. I, I, this is my nature. A lot of people saying, how can you do that? How, 38 years, yeah, there's a lot of recession. It's mm -hmm. consistently you're helping people. Mm -hmm. It's not coming from me. It's coming from him. It's mm -hmm. not about us. It's about him. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, we, when we stand on the faith, God is always uh, the one who provided. And mm -hmm. I always believe whatever you said, it's really, really 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 200 percent i i buzz on that and i always believe when you say the 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 sample of the steve jobs mm. steve jobs is the one who created the apple mm. and the, when the apple had a problem you're going to go to steve not to the apple and it's <laughs> it's the same thing it's really yeah. 
I can really believe on that. When we have a problem, we have to go direct to God, not to go direct to other people as well. Something mm. like that. And si thank you for it's it's very powerful. Amen. For Sister Marian, it's kindness you no know, from her mom and dad. For Sister Mini, it's uh <laughs> patience. Patience and self-sacrifice. How about you, Sister Len Len? Anything that you you parang you emu- you you always wish to emulate from your from your parents? Oh, because uh, I I'll, I'll, I'll tell in Tagalog. Because uh-huh. kami do what you want. Buhay mo yani. Eh. Mm-hmm. So malit pa kami if let's say we don't want to go to school. Hindi kami mm-hmm. pinu force. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to eat, hindi kami walang force. There's no mm-hmm. force. Mm-hmm. So it's your responsibility to yourself. Mm. So they, they're trying to parang teach you being independent, something like that. Mm. Mas, mm-hmm. mas kino high school, I can go, I, I'll go to Baguio, to different mm. places, different far, far away from our home. Mm. I'll be, I will be missing for five to ten days. Mm. Nothing, no, no, my mom will not look for us. And then sometimes I come home around 12 o'clock midnight. She's the one opening the door for me. And it's, okay, mm. where have you been? Okay, I've been here. Okay, go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So there's no, what do you call this? There's no, uh, we no have pressure. to call them, nothing. Mm-hmm. So it's more on accountability to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So you learn um, to be more independent and uh, <laughs> maging accountable, no? Uh, mm-hmm. ako sa nanay ko uh, pagiging ano eh pagiging uh, loving caring at saka ano no uh, matiisin parang ganoon no is mm-hmm. something na na ano na gusto kong i-emulate so here's the thing these are characteristics hindi naman din naman here's are the characteristics of our parents that we wish to emulate these are just our parents right but we have a father in heaven which is i would like to uh, uh Uh, I, how I wish that I can have that perspective like Brother Besad that he, he, he doesn't want to he want to look beyond doon sa parents niya, but he, want, he wants to go straight and look at his God and emulate you know, the, the loving and being kind and everything uh, the, 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 the Bible says be holy because I'm holy it's not a suggestion It was repeated in the New Testament. Be holy because I am holy. So holiness is something that we should be so that we can understand God more. Right? So uh, uh, as we end, whatever your problem now, let us be reminded our God can handle all our problems because He's sovereign. He's Amen. in charge. He's, not, he's seldom late, but... Uh, Uh, he's seldom right on time, but he's never late. And the most uh, important thing is we need to look at him in a perspective of holiness. All right. Amen. So those are our life lessons for tonight. He's sovereign. He's in charge. God is seldom early, but never late. Your God is holy, so he's encouraging us. No. I'm sorry, Pastor Jeff. President want to share something. Go ahead, Pastor. Pastor. Oh. So just, I'm so sorry. I've talked too much. It's okay. But this this is the very I'm reason like why I'm so excited have... about the spirit uh, that my I know. I know. Experience that because um, because I used to be Muslim. Mm. Uh, once I become uh, a lot of Christian, mm. uh, not Christian, but really born again. Mm-hmm. And then I, that time, I start. To sharing the Jesus Christ to everybody mm-hmm. in downtown, I give the Bible, and then I start calling my parents in Iran, uh, mm-hmm. that uh, my brother, my sister, my mother, nice. my mother, father, mm-hmm. to who is Jesus? And he said, I said, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up, mm-hmm. and I got something that you don't know is 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 in my heart. Mm-hmm. You have to follow that. But my, my father, because he's so religious, mm-hmm. and then he said, uh, hey, uh, you have to stop those calling your mother, sister, mm-hmm. brother of me. And stop. You want to call us? Call about Say, how are you? Don't mm-hmm. say anything about Jesus. Mm-hmm. He said, you, you, you are not, uh, you have no right to say that. Mm-hmm. And then I said, uh, but Baba, I, we call him Baba, father. Mm-hmm. I said uh, to my father, I said, Baba, 
you have to listen to me jesus is the love is the everything is you have to listen to me that he came to my heart and then i want to share it with you mm -hmm. and then he said um you know what uh, i'm your father you have mm -hmm. to listen to me i'm not supposed to listen to you mm -hmm. he said i'm your father i lead you what you do and then mm -hmm. uh, after that i said uh, that um, baba you are not my father mm -hmm. my father is in the heaven Mm -hmm. There is a father in the heaven, the Jesus is the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, is the father in heaven, is the real our father. You mm -hmm. gave me physical life, mm -hmm. but you didn't give me spirit. Mm -hmm. God gave me spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave me spirit. I have that spirit from God. They are my father, not you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And That's then he got mad to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful testimony. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it was uh, an enjoyable evening with you guys. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for all your promises, for all your word, for all your teachings for tonight, for all your wisdoms, for all the testimonies that we utter tonight, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for you are sovereign in our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for being in charge, especially during these times of pandemic, Lord. Thank you, Lord yes. God, that uh, you are seldom early, but never late, Lord. Yes. Lord. And you are holy, so therefore we need to be holy, Lord God. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for Marianne and Besad, Lord God. Thank you for Thank Sister you. Nenlen. Thank you for Mini. We pray for ad our other uh, church Thank uh, you people. Thank you. Lord God, and also uh, we, we pray, Lord, that uh, you bless us uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, we will be having our service in our Zoom meeting, Lord God, with Pastor Manny preaching uh, this Sunday. Uh, we pray that uh, you talk, uh, you, you, you give the message through his lips, Lord God, anoint his lips and anoint the ears of your listeners, Lord God, for tonight and for that Sunday morning. We love yes. you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Love Amen. you too. Amen. Thank you. Don't Thank forget. You. Don't forget you, on Sunday, uh, Zoom tayo, nine, uh, nine o'clock, uh, uh, Zoom ID ni Pastor Manny ang gagamitin natin. Pastor Manny will preach. No? We will have praise and worship. So it's like uh, talagang in person but in Zoom. And then uh, we will just uh, uh, live stream it on Facebook. And then Pastor Manny, prayer, ano, prayer session? Uh, wala, wala na. Wala na siya. Uh, magiging service na siya na 9 o'clock kasi we're going back sa in-person uh, November 1. So we will Pero, go back to the church. So 9 o'clock na tayo, not 9.45. Uh, new oh. time slot. So 9 o'clock to 10.30. So yeah, that's it. So we'll see you on Sunday. Be excited at magkikita-kita tayo lahat sa Zoom and uh, ipo-broadcast din natin yun. Thank you guys. Uh, maraming salamat for tonight. Thank you, Pastor. Have a good day. So much, Pastor Jeff and mm -hmm. um, past, uh, Pastor Wife, you're <laughs> beside <laughs> him. Mini. I love that she Sister has a Mini. good Sister spirit, uh, positive energy. I love <laughs> the both of you together. And um, I'm sorry I talk too much, <laughs> but I love no. you so much. No, <laughs> Thank you. you. Uh, we, we learned a I'm lot uh, from you tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank I you hope you care. learned something Thank for you. tonight. Good night. God we bless you. Bye. God bless, God bless, God bless, God bless. Bye.